What's up guys? We got a brand new card game that has come out. It is called the Dragon Ball Super Fusion World. It's a collectible card game that is in beta for this weekend. So get in, it is open beta. So you are more than welcome to go to the website and download it right this moment. But I wanna show you guys how to play the game. It is not a simple game. It can be a little complicated, but that's pretty much all card games are complicated in the beginning. But once you actually learn how to do it, it becomes a lot simpler. First things first, cards are the key. A deck itself will have at least 51 plus cards in it, one of them being the leader, plus the other 50 cards. But this is very important because the cards are for everything. When you start off, one of the first things you gotta do is select which card to be your energy. You are pretty much taking a card and making it your mana you are not able to use these cards as intended in the future. So they are just useful for mana. Once you actually have your mana, have your cards, you're going to lay down whichever one that costs that same equivalent. So of course you have one mana, you drop down one card or one cost card. If you go first in a match, you cannot attack first on turn one. If you go second or you get a colorless energy, which is kind of like the coin, from Hearthstone. Going second can have an advantage because you can kind of play a stronger card first before your opponent is able to play a stronger card. Next, you're gonna see your life. Now on the side, everyone starts off with eight health. Now these eight health are different than most games. If your eight health goes down to zero, you are dead, game is over. But this eight health is actually a pool of cards, of eight cards. Now, of course, the last one you'll never uh, use because it's your one health, but every character has the means to awaken, as its term is called, which basically means to grow stronger or flip over and be a stronger version of itself. Now, the stronger version can have different advantages and disadvantages, uh, so you kind of plan accordingly. Once you become four health or lower, you have the ability to flip over. Now, granted, you can do it the moment you get the four health, but sometimes you may wanna hold off just a little bit because if an opponent is trying to attack you, let's say for 15,000 damage and you flip over and you become 20,000, you're able to block that attack. You can actually use other cards where cards from your hand or cards that are on the field to buff or energize whenever you're attacking or you're defending. The way the structure of the game goes is you start off, you play, you declare an attack, and then when you declare an attack, your opponent decides to play defense, and then it goes into the results. So say you have a unit that's 15,000, you attack another unit. Now, if it's a tying score, the declared attacker always wins in a tie. So you have 15,000, your opponent has 15,000. You declare the attack, when you declare, you can add energy to it. But just as a tip, if you're starting off, don't do that. Uh, hold off because if you have like five cards in your hand and you decide to use one of your cards to buff everything up, you're going to start to have uh, low hand size. And this game is all about having uh, higher hand sizes, higher value, and using the best of the cards and making them as efficient as possible. Now, if you are attacking with 15,000 and your opponent has 15,000, but then your opponent, say they use a card from their hand at 10,000, so now you're 15 against 25, do not worry. This is not like Yu-Gi-Oh. Your unit does not die if it attacks something that is guarded from it. You still have it on the field, it's still usable, so don't worry about it. Any cards that are used uh, to buff go to the drops. The drops area is pretty much a graveyard. It's just kind of the term, it's called drops. So once it's in the drops, you can look at the card history. What was the card that your opponent used to kind of buff to, that went into the drops? There are some decks that utilize the cards and drops. You're able to summon things from your graveyard, from your drop pile to reuse them. Be mindful of what is in your drops, especially if you're playing a deck that can utilize those cards from the drops. Your leader itself can be used as a unit. It can be buffed, it can be defended. Whenever you attack with a leader, you, most of them, almost every single one at some point, will be able to draw a card. Now some, uh, that changes when you flip, so make sure you read the cards and what they do. But 
Drawing cards, getting cards is very important because you have a big deck size. Of course, that deck can get smaller and smaller, but honestly, in these games, even as long as these games can be, I have not seen a deck be milled out. Now, granted, this is the beta. Now, the beta doesn't have all the utilization that the game is going to have. It doesn't have crafting system. It doesn't have, which apparently is the case, multi-color system. The beta is simply mono colors, which is fine because honestly, these mono colors are very strong and do different things. Green is ramp. The goal is to ramp up and get as much energy as possible to play big swole cards. Yellow is normally like Frieza's area and it looks like they are more control in different ways. They're gonna control the a board, freeze some cards so they're not used again, i.e. turning it to rest. So then that way it is unable to do its abilities. It can still attack, but it's not able to use abilities. Red is normally kind of like your mid range. Blue is kind of in between. There's sometimes it could be somewhat aggro. Sometimes it could be somewhat of a mid range. The key is, it's all about the size of your hand. The sweet spot for blue is kind of have seven cards or lower. And having seven cards or lower will do different effects for different cards. For example, you can get a leader, Future Trunks, and he is more of a bounce deck. Like he will, if you have seven cards or less, and some of the cards will allow you to bounce cards back to their hand or back to their deck on the top of it or bottom of it. It has different utilizations. I'll give you some tips here. Tip number one, right now, green seems to be king. Ramping up into the late game and playing some big, strong units seems to be the strongest right now in the beta, especially Broly. He has a very strong card that's an eight drop and once it's down on the board, it's almost GG because that card can attack twice, destroy something when it gets on the board, draw a card, it can do everything. Your opponent can have two to four copies of it. This is just the beta of the game. So things are gonna change when it's released. Right now, there's no official release date. I believe a lot of people are speculating it's coming out in February, but there's there's been whispers through the grapevine that it might be delayed until much further than that. So unknown as far as the exact date, but we shall see how the official release is and what all comes out for it. The fundamentals of the game actually is a lot of fun and can be a very enjoyable game. We shall see how, like I said, the main game is when it comes out. Right now, the beta is showing promise. And like I said, it's currently an open beta. You can download it from the website right this moment, play it, see what you like about it, see if it's something that you want to get into in the future. I just wanted to let you guys know my thoughts behind it, as well as kind of some tips on how to play. There is more things, of course, the tutorial will teach you. But these are some key things that I wanted to show you guys before you delve deeper into it. Definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Right now, I'm finding the beta enjoyable. I really want to see what the main game is. And until then, hope you guys enjoy the gameplay that you see here. We'll be back for more in the future. Until then, make sure you guys are subscribed for more. We will definitely be covering this game and more in the future. You guys take care. Bye for now. This ain't what you want, bitch. I'm a fucking phenomenon.